Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Another EA video today. I feel like I'm just a news reporter for EA Sports with all the issues that have gone on this week with the whole EA gate, Icon gate, and now we have something even bigger today. EA leaked some stuff inside of the web app that was like some back-end UI, and it just shows uh, kind of the control and all of the stuff that they have included in this game that can be flipped uh, with any switch anytime it just gives us a lot of information on some of the stuff that goes in on the back side of things on the web app which it's crazy crazy to see all of this stuff that goes on but take a look at this right this this is what happened today ea for some reason inside of the web app you were able to go down to settings and there was this button that said debug right up here and basically what that did was it took you into the back end ui i'm going to show you some screenshots and talk about it and just kind of talk about why this is crazy right because this is something that we have never seen before now of course uh, I'm going to show you some code as well because some of the stuff, like if you were to go in like the developer mode in your browser, you would be able to see it. Um, but it's just crazy that all of this stuff is happening at this time where we have all this icon moments, black market stuff going on. Maybe they're somehow uh, integrated or something like that. Maybe uh, we'll talk about that too. But it's just crazy right now. EA is under so much scrutiny and there's no promos out in FIFA as well. So like all we want to do is get a promo and EA is messing up. So everybody is jumping on this and it's just it has to be talked about, right? Because this is crazy, crazy stuff. So let's take a look at some of these screenshots at what it looked like inside of the web app. You can add coins to your account, add players, like change your transfer market access. This is stuff is crazy. This is a screenshot from Donk on to post all the pictures and the links to these tweets down below in the description. Um, this is kind of what it looked like, right? You, you would click that debug button. It was like right here. You would click debug and you could add packs, loan players, send to club, free coins, free packs, create player pick items, add consumables, reset a daily gift. Like the screenshots from this stuff are mental. There was videos, there was people live on stream, run the foot market was live on stream because he, he got on this while it was happening. You could type in type player name. There were people that were typing in like Cruyff and R9 and hold it and stuff. And it would like, let you choose that player. Now I'm pretty sure that nobody was actually able to add coins or to add players to their account um, because they didn't have the actual access to do that. Right. You probably still would have needed like the, um, I don't know what you would say, like a manager access or developer access to actually add that to your club. But just the fact that you can see all this stuff, I guess this kind of shows us how they would maybe do content granting, right? Is they go in here on the back side of the web app, type it in for whatever player and then put it in their club. But it's crazy. There was people that were trying to do this on their own, but it gets crazier, crazier than this, right? Because it's, I don't know how this got opened up. It's or how this even happened, but take a look at some of these other screenshots, right? Um, kill switches, web tools, right? This is down here at the very bottom under tools, uh, reset tutorials, clear cash, um, alerts, confirmations. Now this one's crazy. Set trade access. You could set your trade access to being no access to the market, which probably means banned, blacklist, whitelist, gray list, and maintenance. Uh, like what, what, what is gray list? What's the difference between gray, whitelist and blacklist? Um, hide the transfer market. There was a, a winter theme. Like what, what winter theme? Why didn't we see that earlier this year? So, I mean, there's all these buttons that are around. There's actually a video I'll show you in a second showing somebody taking their list access from whitelist to gray list and it actually turn the market off of them. So I'll show you that in a second too, but it just keeps getting better here's one that we saw in the code too right this was one of the um kill switches right when you look under i think it was in here where it said kill switches there's one of these screenshots where it says kill switches and there's the, a bunch of these switches that have all of these different options and to be enabled or to be disabled and this one is still on the web app trade offers enabled and that was obviously switched off or there was a zero like a one or zero for that being off it had a zero there um so trade offers are technically like still in the code. They're still in the game. They're just not activated right now. Another screenshot, right? Talking about pack odds, pack odds, low percentage localization threshold. What in the world even is that? But this is, this is just so crazy because it's just, you can now see how somebody at EA, this would be so easy for them. Uh, if somebody said, hey, I've got this much money and I'm gonna pay you to put this R9 on my account. 
this is how they would do it, right? They go in here and they type the player names, they boom, all right, send it to the club, that's going in your account. Free coins, free packs. Now, just be careful because there's probably going to be some people editing this saying that they got like 40 million coins from doing this. There's probably going to be some edited photoshops out there. So just be very, very careful about that. There's a lot of stuff floating around Twitter right now. It's insane. It's crazy. But a lot of these screenshots are just showing some of the just crazy different things that are behind. And, you know, there's some stuff in here that is included. Like, again, these the, the pack odds threshold, right? Like, you, what what does this actually entail? Like, is this is there some stuff behind the scenes here that EA haven't told us about that is we're not supposed to know about? Now, obviously, EA probably doesn't want to seeing all this stuff, and that opens the question like, why in the world was this open to people? Um, but it's just crazy to see all this stuff. Like the free packs and the free coins thing, I think for me is one of the craziest things, especially if you saw it happening on stream, somebody actually doing it, which I'll show you right now this video. Uh, this is from Reddit. This is somebody that went in their ultimate team. They had transfer market access and take a look at this. They clicked on that, boom, they have transfer market access. They went to the debug button right there, went back in the UI, clicked on gray list, right? They went to gray list. Then they went back and it says your account has been blocked from using the transfer market. Then of course the video resets. But just to pause this at one point and show you again, you click that debug button and you have um, up here, you have method, kill switches, web tools. And that's where you were seeing a lot of these different buttons and stuff um, kind of being posted and shown. Uh, and I think the kill switches was the biggest thing where there was so much stuff going on. Now, this is a footwatch tweet um, showing a lot of these kill switches and stuff. Uh, that actually get loaded up every single time you open the web app. If you look in your developer mode, they're always there. Uh, we just don't obviously see them all the time. So like enable live messaging, enable co-op squad battles matches, app stats collection. Like when you when you saw in that video, like the kill switch stuff, that these are a lot of those kill switches. Um, but still, there's nothing on here that talks about um, like the, I, I think this is overlooked, honestly. This whole trade access, blacklist, whitelist, graylist, maintenance, that really to me is one thing that I'm kind of like, excuse me, like what? How can you have different levels of trade access? Shouldn't it just be, yes, you can trade, no, you're banned, or there's maintenance, right? So it should be like a yes, no, and maintenance, right? I don't understand what, why there's a gray list, a white list, and a black list. And when Nick run the foot market live on stream, opened this up and checked his access on his web app, it said blacklist. But of course, he was able to trade still on the market because he's not banned, right? He, he had blacklist. So what's the difference between the white list and the blacklist, right? And that gets a lot, like, does that actually, like, in, like mess up your transfer market access like me as if i'm whitelisted i wasn't actually able to get on the web app at this time and to look into this whole glitched out situation and as you can see there's no button right up here that says debug anymore um but seeing this makes me think why like what what's the difference there so obviously we're not going to get answers to a lot of this stuff but it's just crazy to see behind the scenes all the stuff that's going on at ea and again, just look through a few more of these. Uh, enable live messaging, MTX enabled, my stadium aboard, aboard mode, um, TFA enabled. No, that is not me, TFA, the foot account. Enable playtime stats, saving region on session. Um, enable player metadata, enable house rules. So some of the stuff here for like uh, the other friendly game modes is in here too, like you saw uh, couch play, uh, enable co-op rivals matches, undo discard flow trade process confidence value i know it's very at the bottom of your screen here i don't know what that would be trade process confidence value is that like the green check mark that would be on your trade so there's just a lot of like code stuff that is like we don't understand it all but it's crazy to see some of the stuff that is included in here like the like the trade offers right like or the pack odds thing just kind of saying like hey yo ea you still have this back there, there was stuff about seasons too right like foot seasons um that was behind there that was just so crazy interesting to see. And of course, it brings out a lot of negativity along with EA because it's like, why is this happening? Why are we seeing this stuff? What in the world is going on? This has to be one of like the worst weeks for EA ever. If you work at EA, you're probably like, wow, they just saw the whole back end of our company, all this operation stuff that we do. Uh, of course, you had the whole icon moments tobacco where somebody at EA uh, was giving those content, granting those icons to people. Obviously, probably this is how they were doing it. And there's a lot of, I guess, uh, theories going around too, is that 
maybe today what happened was whoever was that guy at EA that got caught doing the icon moment stuff, if they fired him or they were saying, hey, you're out of here, and this was his like last, like if he was kind of going against EA and like exposing them a little bit, kind of exposing the whole back end of the FIFA operation to us as the community, like this might've been his like revenge, quote unquote. That's just a far-fetched theory. Uh, but honestly, this probably has to do with EA looking into that whole icon moment scenario and looking into the web app, because I'm guessing that's how these people were granting uh, those icons because you probably have to give them the, your details and now it makes sense they sign into your account they go in here they go in the debug mode and whoop, they put them into your account like this but it's just crazy to see all of the stuff the, the switches and the tools and um, all of these extra little pieces of code that are in here that whether it's used whether it's unused it's just it's just so crazy 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 to see so um, that's kind of what I wanted to make this video again about and just to show you guys what is going on. If you're seeing this stuff on Twitter, if you're seeing screenshots of code of the web app and you're like, what in the world is going on? EA basically leaked the web app code and now everybody who was able to have access to it is, is kind of, you know, clicking around in it. And I don't think people were able to actually do anything. Um, but it just makes for a lot of interesting conversation as EA is not even being viewed in a very good light at the moment but i also want to talk about the content that was dropped a little bit earlier before this whole madness started we had another team of the week that was dropped no cristiano ronaldo or Lionel messi in a team of the week uh which we kind of expected because there were no player picks no benzema as well or sorry there were player picks for weekend league plus uh, but the team of the week is definitely a bit of an L, which we expected, of course, with those weekend league plus objectives uh, being live. Now, another EA mess up today. There is a Daugherty SBC card that is in the code, but this SBC has not been released. 88 pays Daugherty, right wing back card. Um, of course, St. Patrick's Day. We had a couple St. Patrick's Day objectives as well with the Silver Stars McGeady. Um, a lot worse than our flashback McGeady from last year. And then we had a um, foundation St. Patrick's Day for Horgan, Connolly, and Hendrick uh, to get some more Irish cards there too. So kind of an L content today from EA as well. You just basically some objective SBC fodder and just cool collector's cards um, along with a pretty average team of the week. We did just get what if upgrades. So Sancho's gone to a 92, Berchiche at an 89, Ricardo Perea and Caputo have gotten upgraded as well. So those cards do look pretty good. And of course, we do have Champions League games uh, today on FIFA as well. So we're kind of just watching this all unfold, right? It's just, it's a nuts time right now on FIFA. It's, it's honestly crazy. So I'm trying to keep this video pretty positive, right? And I'm not trying to be all negative because of course, it's very easy to get negative when the game isn't the way uh, that we want it to be. But I'm really curious to see what if EA says about this whole web app debacle, if they do say anything, uh, because basically the entire uh, hardcore FIFA community was able to see and view the backside and the code of the entire FIFA Ultimate Team game in terms of the web app stuff. Now, the gameplay code, like we wouldn't have seen that obviously because that's not in the web app, uh, but just the fact that we were able to see all of this stuff today, some of the screenshots are crazy um, and it just adds to the drama and what is going on right now uh, in FIFA. So hopefully we get a loading screen, right? We still have no loading screen. We have no information about a promo this Friday. And if I'm EA Sports, then I'm like, all right, shoot boys. We got to get a promo out this Friday because at least right now, everybody is ticked off at us. Everybody is looking at our company basically inside itself because uh, we are leaking the web app and showing everybody how we run this game um, and all of the code that is behind it. So not sure about Foot Birthday. We'll maybe talk about that a little bit more in the video later tonight. But I wanted to release this just to kind of talk about what was going on with the web app because crazy, crazy screenshots all around Twitter today. And... Um, just insane, insane stuff today on this game. So hopefully EA gets it cleared up. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It's just crazy. Uh, so if you want to take a look at some screenshots on Twitter, I'll put more of those links down in the description if you do want to check out some of those. Let me know what you guys think about the content today if you're interested in it at all. And uh, yeah, man, that's the video for today. If you guys enjoyed it, hit a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.